All right, guys, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> uh, we are working on our 2004 Mustang GT. And this is a video letting y'all know what I'm doing. So <clears throat> a couple people's asked when, when is my next video coming out? Well, as soon as I get to a stopping point here to where I can put one out, I will get that out as soon as possible. But right now <clears throat> I'm at a crossroads. I don't know what I want to do, but, uh, I done a compression test on this thing. Cylinder number two is really bad. Cylinder number one, not so great. Uh, this engine's leaking oil. Uh, from It was leaking oil from both valve covers. It's leaking from the oil pan. Uh, I mean, the AC compressor's completely soaked. So I was almost thinking, well, maybe I'll just pull the engine out and then make the repairs. Then I was like, nah, I really don't want to fool with unbolting the transmission, dropping the drive shaft, just to slide the transmission back enough to get the engine out, and then, of course, taking the radiator out and the fan and all that. But it may lead to this anyway, because I still don't, I mean, we still don't know if it's got a cracked head, blown head gasket, or cracked block. So it would suck if I sit there and pulled all this apart in the car, just find out I got, had a cracked block. Uh, that would really suck. Um, Number two, if you look right here, that plastic piece I'm wiggling, that's a chain guide. It's broke. So, when you break a chain guide, there's really a, only one place for the broken pieces to go, and that's down the bottom of the oil pan. So, in order to get that out, I'm going to have to lift the engine up some and drop the oil pan. So now... I'm gonna think about it tonight while I'm at work because <clears throat> I'm gonna have to put in about a 12 hour shift because everybody's out riding around buying Christmas presents and all that, burning gas up. And when people are out riding around, of course, I gotta haul ass and keep, gra get, keep gas in the ground. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna think about whether I just wanna jerk this engine out or not. The engine may be trash. It's got rust right here on the cam. We may end up with a new engine for this. I may end up tearing this apart and uh, taking the block to the machine shop and let them bore it out for me and then bring it back and we may just build something out of it. But if I do that, if I end up building this, I'm gonna go with trick flow heads, probably trick flow intake and all that. Then again, I may decide to just get a crate engine for it, drop in there. Maybe put us a Ford racing, uh, intake manifold on there or something i don't know I, I got a lot to think about but once i get to a stopping point either engine out or head gasket fixed and oil pan gasket and all that i will put that video out as soon as i can anyway thanks for watching guys